are, welcome back. I'm at Rapid and from the noise around me, you can tell that it's just not open yet. And that's really exciting because I'm here with Mitch and this is Array. This is Array. It's finally, here. Finally. finally here. Okay, for those of you that may not know, Mitch, what is Array? Array is unlocking 3D printing at scale through automation. So we're automating build plate changing, material loading, print monitoring, so that you can spend your time you know, designing things, doing creative work, not tending to printers. Automation huge in 3D printing, obviously, yeah. and at the industrial level of additive, it's, it's needed for, for all of the parts that need to be made. Yeah. But we're talking each of these machines in here can have eight colors or materials, and it's not just PLA and ABS, it's high temp, so Peak, PEC, and Ultim. Yes. Automated. Fully automated. What? So this must have come about, I mean, it's been in development for years, right? Yes. And it was recently announced, and I would imagine there are specific customer requests that really drove this. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're best known for pallet, multi automated multi-material, multi-color, and what we saw is that people would buy a bunch of pallets to create print farms, and they'd go okay, but it didn't, it didn't get, it didn't answer the full problem. And so we decided to build a purpose-built solution that gets you to that level of automation that makes 3D printing truly scalable and brings the cost per part down to a point where it can be used in manufacturing. With the automation, your goal is to bring down that cost per part. And so businesses can invest in a machine like this, and then the, the ROI isn't far off. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's pretty quick, in fact. And sometimes we think about manufacturing, and that's the ultimate end goal. But even thinking about you know, schools, service providers, engineering firms with multiple people using a printer, it is a mini print farm, right? And that's exactly what Array is, is designed for. So those people don't spend time, again, tending to the printers. They can be doing creative work. I run a print farm, and tending to the machines pulling prints from build plates and reloading and starting prints, a lot of time is dedicated to that. And so if this takes care of a lot of that, I could see this being a really attractive offering. So this machine I know has the front end. So yes. this says like, like the robotics and the exactly. automation, and you can see the printers printing. There's also the back end of the machine, which has an entirely different purpose. Yep. And inside the machine are four of the Element 3D printers that is a first for Mosaic as well, right? Exactly, yeah. Well, can we take a look at the back of the machine? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're now on the back side of Array, right? Yes. And it looks like this is where materials and build plates are managed. Exactly, all the materials for each printer, and then the most exciting part, all of the prints that came out, right? So all of them are ready here, ready for you to take. You can either grab them here or roll the storage cart over for post-processing or to wherever they're needed. Oh, so then because all the plates are in a cart and you can roll the cart out, you can roll a clean cart in for, for the automation part of it. Exactly. So you know, on a Friday, you can queue up into the Canvas software, you know, a few hundred parts. Coming in on a Monday, they can all be ready, take them out, new a cart in. Few hundred, a few Mitch, hundred, a few parts. hundred parts. Yeah, that's what Array's built for with no intervention. It's just taking care of all of that for you. 32 filaments in here, right? 32 filaments in material pods, keeping them all dry and, and all that. And so it's eight per printer. And that, that means two things. One, that means you okay. can print with eight different materials in a single part. But also it means that you can load up a few of the same materials, so maybe you know, three ABS. When it runs out of one, goes to the next. That saves you again from going in on a Saturday night because uh, the printer tells you it's low on, on material. Well, I mean, uh, uh, the Palette series of hardware, the failover has been something that has been a part of the firmware, and I've used it. It's, it's great because, you know, you feed in what you have. But to have it at an industrial level, that's kind of cool. So then, eight per printer. So does each printer have itself a Palette? Each printer has a Palette. So there's uh, four, in fact, they're Palette Xs, the industrialized version of Palette. I want one. No. And that's what handles the material changeover. So it's that same tech we've been building for almost a decade now and have hardened. That's what's powering uh, the element printers. I think I saw an element over there. I, can we take a closer look? Let's do it. Hey, Mitch. Oh, this hey is there. warm, man. It's what we're printing peak so that heated chamber is on, the nozzle's up uh, over 400 degrees and uh, coming along. This is awesome. This is the element from Mosaic, and it's your first 3D printer. This is our first printer. We, we Jeez, man, for a first, it's kind of killer. Impressive. Like on paper, this thing's amazing. Take me through it. X, Y, and Z, what are they? 14 inches or 355 millimeters cubed. Okay, good. I mean, freedom units are one thing, but I understand the millimeters. Okay, and you said it's printing peak, so the yeah. hot end is over 400 C, but according to this, it'll go to 500 it'll go to 500, C. so you have that flexibility, and it's also modular, th three thumb screws, change it out for an L a low temp print head. So really easy to service. And you know, ultimately Element was built to be the, the engine driving array. So reliability, accessibility, that was all really core here. And then functionality, eight materials in one part, that heated chamber, the big build volume, uh, camera in there for automated failure detection. Oh, you got a camera in there. You got a camera in there, of course. For automated failure detection. Yeah. 
and eight materials, like yep. you said, because of Palette X. Yep. And two different heads, one yep. for high temp, one for not. You got it. 355 on X, Y, and Z, or Z. Or Z. Or Z. Z's dead, baby. Integrated HEPA filter blowing right at you right now. I mean, okay, reliability. You're yep. talking about reliability, and since we're dealing with low temp and high temp materials, obviously, yep. you must have two different types of build plates. We do, exactly. Two, exactly two, one HT, one LT. And you know, we've expert tuned profiles. Um, everything will just tell you exactly what you need to do to achieve success on the system because the materials, the software, the printer, we're able to really procure that and make sure that everything is, is tuned in so that on the desktop you can experiment, get prototypes going, and when you're ready to scale and send it over to Array, you can be confident that you get the identical results because it's the identical system. Most impressive. Now, Mitch, the question everybody's going to have is price and availability, right? What are they, what, if someone wanted this, like I kind of want this, what would I be looking at if I wanted an Element 3D printer at my house? So Element will start just under 7,000 US dollars, and that's for a nozzle up to 300 degrees Celsius and, and all this functionality we spoke about, other than the HT. The HT starts at 10K uh, US. You get the HT printhead, chamber heater, and all of that. For us, it was really important to make this accessible. You know, if you look at all this functionality, big build volume, multi-material, um, enclosed heated chamber, that kind of functionality is difficult to get, and if you can, it's normally north of $100,000. Right, Th that price tag is really surprising. We're, you, for high temp at 10K, yeah. that's ultra competitive. And that's the point, we want to make it more accessible, right? Especially since this is the engine to array, ultimately, to bring costs down on 3D printed parts, you also have to control the cost of the printers. Really expensive printers make really expensive parts. <laughs> that's true. And so we've been challenged to make an incredibly reliable system at a low cost, but we think that's the right move as we move, you know, move along this path towards production and high volume. When it was interesting, I said, well, if I wanted one at my home, but I think what people have to realize is, while Mosaic has made hardware for the consumer level, this is definitely a professional and an industrial play. Absolutely. I, I think since day one, we've seen that a good portion of our customers are using it in schools, classrooms, at home. And then there's a good portion that, you know, they don't post on about it as much, but we <laughs> see it, that are in factories, using it for automated material changing, multi-material printing. And that's really where, again, we were inspired to, to focus on this problem of scalability and cost reduction. And we saw that it ultimately is an ecosystem play. It's got to come from the software, material, and printer all coming together to solve that problem. Well, with this new Mosaic ecosystem that you've created, what sort of availability is there? Like, if someone in a school system or a makerspace or, or in a business wanted this, when could they get it? Yeah, so they can talk to our team as early as today and we are doing some pre-sales. So we've been selling, they've been selling well, which is really exciting. We're going to begin shipping these to some of the earliest customers who bought later this year and ramping up to full-scale production next year. So oh. it's, it's an exciting time. We're, we're late in the process. After about five years since the vision was born, we're, we're right at that point where we're getting ready to ship to those early customers and to scale up, which is kind of why we did this in the first place. So it's it really makes exciting. A lot of sense. Yeah. Hey, congrats on an awesome machine. Thank you. And an awesome machine. And if anybody wants to know more, they can, uh, they can go where? MosaicMFG.com. Or you can come to the show. See you soon, right? Uh, if you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for cause you believe in. Print all the materials. And as always, high five.